Hi, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the background of a video without having to shoot it in front of a green screen. So on TikTok or YouTube Shorts, the more creative and better videos you make, the more successful you'll become. Obviously. And also the more conveniently and faster you can produce a video, the more you can make of them. And that will also help you become more successful. And it's also better and more convenient if you don't need professional equipment for all of this. Now one way to make a video more exciting is to play around with backgrounds. By removing your background you can place yourself anywhere and you can create different scenarios with different stories and just make your video more exciting. And also if you want to teach on educators for example which is a site where you can give online courses, you can also stand out from the crowd if you have a background of a blackboard for example and not your bedroom or kitchen. To begin open up the uni converter. On the left side panel, click on the toolbox and then select the AI Portrait tool. To import files, you can drag and drop them from your media browser right over here or just click on import files and import them from your media browser. So like I said, I'm going to use this TikTok video. As you can see, the background is automatically removed now. I can switch the background up to different colors like black, red, green, blue. I can even add a custom image. But I think I'm gonna go with the red one. Now if I click right over here on the plus icon and I add more videos, I can apply the same background to all, for example. If I use a custom image or just custom color like red or green, I can click apply to all. And then the same background will be applied to all videos here. And then once I'm done, I can just click on export. And once you changed up the background of your videos, you can throw them into the intro and outro tool of the Wondershare Uni Converter and add your custom intros and outros to them. But I'll talk about that tool in more detail in this video right here. But there you go, that's it for today. It's really simple, right? If you found this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet already, subscribe to the channel for more how-to videos like this one. Also, don't forget to turn on the notifications so you never miss a new upload on this channel. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.